Hi everyone, it's your girl Julia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, please subscribe and join my YouTube fam. So for today's video, I'm doing a little get ready with me for hot girl summer. So if you wanna watch me get ready, then just keep watching. <laughs> So for moisturizer, I'm using the Picture Perfect Day Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15 from Formula 10.0.6. And if I'm looking right here, it's because that's where my mirror is. So I'm going to be doing my eyebrows first with the CoverGirl. The CoverGirl brow pencil and this is in the shade rich dark and to be honest i don't think it's that dark because i have pretty dark eyebrow hairs and this is kind of like reddish on me so and don't be looking at my eyebrows i haven't got them waxed in a long time i bought a waxing kit but i'm just too afraid to mess up my own eyebrows Next is eyeshadow. I'm just kind of doing my makeup like how whatever. <laughs> you don't have to. If you're following along on this makeup look, you don't have to do your makeup in the same order as me. I'm just doing whatever I feel like doing next, to be honest. But um, since today I want to play what color, I'm using this eyelid primer for morphe because i oh, because the eyeshadow palette i'm using today is from morphe and to be honest this is the only primer i have for my eyelids and i'm just blending this out with my finger i'll post i'll put in the video some eye looks i've been doing during quarantine um right now i kind of regret not filming them because like all of them came out so good and i didn't even record them so i'm gonna put some of the looks that i've done on the screen and if you guys like them i could do videos for them because i've been playing with eyeshadow so you guys like them let me know in the comments and like whichever one you guys want me to do on camera and I'll do it these eyebrows are so bad like there's just no words to describe how my eyebrows look but I'm not gonna I'm not going to be boring and just talk about how bad my eyebrows are this whole video the eyeshadow palette i'm using today is the morphe 3503 palette the fierce of nature and i still haven't picked an eyeshadow look to do i don't know but i'm going to set my eyelids with this shade called trans i think that's what it's called and if it's not called that my bad like right about now i'd probably just do a brown eyeshadow look but i feel like every time i do a makeup look i just put brown all over my eyelid and i'm pretty sure you guys are getting bored of that so what i'm going to do because my camera battery is about to die so I'm going to go try and I look off camera while my battery is charging and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I did one eye off camera. I think it's orange finally. I don't know if it's picking up as orange, but in real life it looks orange. So to do this eye look, it was pretty simple. I used two eyeshadows. So I'm going to be taking the shade. I'm reading the names. I'm going to be taking the shade Flame Game 
and I'm just gonna be putting that in my crease just to like help make it look faded you know you see the blend yeah that's why I'm putting this in my crease And I don't know if you guys notice anything different. But I got my hair done like two days ago maybe. Yeah, two days ago. And I love my hair. I haven't had my hair braided since um, last November. That's pretty far. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the eyeshadow called Ball of Fire. It's this nice bright orange and we're just gonna pack that on the lid and I'm gonna get this little thing because it has a mirror so I can see exactly where I'm putting it so I'm gonna take the M504 with the shade flame game again and just blend those two shadows together like right where they meet so like right here just gonna blend them so our eyeshadow is pretty much done for now um now it's time to do um our base makeup and i'm just going to use a little bit of the fenty primer to get my base done quicker i like to put my concealer on and then put my foundation on and just blend it all at once. So that's what I'm about to do. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and Tan Deep Sand. And then for foundation, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte and the shade 385. This is actually getting too dark for me, but I'm still going to use it because I already bought two of these, so I might as well just use them. See, it looks a little bit too orange for me, but... It's summertime, it's just gonna look like I have a tan, right? So this foundation looks like darker than I thought it would be. So I'm gonna actually do a little bit more concealer than what I did before. I guess I kind of wasted my time, but it's fine. We love concealer. All right, so my base looks pretty blended out. So now I'm going to set where I use concealer, but I'm gonna make sure that I'm not I'm not putting too much because I'll look cakey and dry and dusty. So I'm just going to use a little bit i think i want to try the fenty hydration foundation is that what it's called it's probably not called that but you know her hydrating foundation because this one is starting to get a little bit too matte for my liking i mean don't get me wrong i love a matte foundation but um my skin's a little bit drier than it used to be so now that our concealer is pretty much set i'm going to um use a pressed powder on the rest of my face using the same one i always use by morphe the filter effect um finish powder in filter tin and what i like to do is not only do i set the rest of my face but i like to lick off the powder so I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera because it's just a little bit of contour and blush and then I'll come back for highlight 
and to finish the under eyes and the lips. All right guys, I'm back to finish the look. I went ahead and put on some eyelashes. I've got some exciting news guys. I have my first ever promo code for you guys and I have it with this eyelash company called Winapets. Glam Lashes on Instagram. Um, I'll leave their at and a link to their store down below. You just click on the link, go to the store, pick up some lashes, and then use code Julia Renee to get some money off. And it really helps me out because once enough you guys use my code, then I can be a part of their PR list. So if you guys want to support and also get some lashes with a little discount then go ahead and use my promo code it is for you guys so yeah let's go ahead and finish off this look because i started filming at about two and it is five o'clock <laughs> so i'm just trying to get this video done i contoured and did blush and now i'm going to do my lower lash line and i'm going to start off by taking the eyeshadow called Ball of Fire and I'm just going to blow that out on the lower lash line. There's something in my eye. Okay, so now we're going to highlight you and I'm just gonna be using the Hustle Baby Kilowatt Highlighter. But for my inner corners, I'm gonna use a different color from the palette. Yo, I just had to take a eyelash out of my eyeball. I don't know if I Got her on camera, but I was like, there's something in my eye, and it was a whole eyelash. So now to really finish off the eyes, I need a little inner corner highlight, and I'm not really sure which one I want to use. So I'm just going to take this eyeshadow to like a sparkly one. It's called embers i think oh that's pretty blinding okay for lips i'm gonna use this lip lacquer by elf and it's in the shade mauve glitz and it's kind of like a dupe it's kind of like a dupe for the fenty gloss all right guys so this is the finished look i really like it if you guys want to see more pictures of this look go ahead and follow me on instagram and i'll have some selfies up but yeah that's all for today's video if you liked it then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure if you have not already subscribe to my channel click the notification bell to be notified whenever i post I'm Julia Renee, and I hope you come back to my channel and watch another video. Bye!